Welcome to our lecture online. In this video, we're going to explore the concept of congruent triangles. So, what does it say here? It says that congruent triangles have the same shape and the same size, but their orientation may be different. Well, what does that mean? Well, it means that the corresponding sides must have the same length and the corresponding angles must have the same measure. However, if the corresponding sides have the same length, that will automatically translate in the corresponding, corresponding angles having the same measure. So this is a necessary condition, and then this will be an automatic following condition, but both of them will be true if the triangles are congruent. Sometimes it's better to take a look at a picture. So let's take a look here. We, here we have two triangles. They claim is that they're congruent. Now notice that these two angles have the same length. I should say these two sides have the same length, these two sides have the same length, and these two sides have the same length. That alone is sufficient to say that the two triangles are congruent. But we can also see that these two angles have the same angular measure, these two angles have the same measure, and these two angles have the same measure. So definitely the two triangles are congruent. You can rotate this one right here, 90 degrees this way, to show that they will look exactly the same. And if you want to know how to write it, you can then see that here that a triangle sign ABC, which indicates the three corners of the triangle, is congruent to the triangle with DEF, again, the three corners of the other triangle. So this is how you actually write it when two triangles are congruent. Here's a quick picture of two triangles that are not congruent because it is quite obvious that the length of this side there's no corresponding side over here that has the same length. So automatically when you find one length or one side that does not have the same length as the, any of the sides of the other triangle, automatically they will not be congruent. And that is what we mean by congruent triangles. Whoa! <laughs> you kicked the cat. <laughs> I did. I didn't know she was there. 